okay, there was some drama in the childhood. How is it going to impact today's life and relationship? When you have trauma in childhood, it leaves scars on your brain, on your heart. Hi guys and welcome to Girls Free Mind. I am Dr. Shruti Bhattacharya and today's uh, topic of discussion is signs of childhood trauma in adults. Again, not a very pleasing topic but then this channel is not for pleasing topics at all. This channel is for diving down deep into things we don't want to talk about and figuring them out from the base. Now the reason I picked signs of childhood trauma is because uh, in my therapy sessions and uh, in my sessions with uh, my clients i have noticed that most of them are facing this particular problem without even realizing they show the signs but they don't know why they are like oh i've been like this almost all my life it's really not like that on diving deeper on a retrospection on asking them to look back in their lives and find out why they might be behaving this way turns out there is a serious case of childhood trauma that has been repressed since this is so common but not very commonly discussed i decided to hammer down on this point now okay there was some trauma in the childhood how is it going to impact today's life and relationship when you have trauma in childhood, it leaves scars on your brain, on your heart. These scars are not visible, but they are always there. They change you. These traumas manipulate you into becoming someone you wouldn't be if you did not face the trauma. For example, if you face childhood trauma specifically from a person who's close to you, chances are that once you grow up, you will find it hard to trust others. You, it'll be very difficult for you to be in a relationship because of the trust issue. You find it hard to trust people. You feel that people only love you or like you because of what you can do for them. Otherwise, they're just going to leave you and go away. You will constantly feel lonely. There are unexplained anger issues. Uh, people are generally dismissive, preoccupied, don't want to be in a relationship, in a relationship and not trusting your partner or having a string of broken relationships. All of these problems are somehow rooted in childhood. Now, before I go into the actual signs of childhood trauma, I would like to take this moment to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already. If you if you are with me in around, you know, this three minutes of this video, you know you want to watch the rest. So why not hit that subscribe button? It'll keep me motivated to make new videos and come back to you every damn week. So hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well while you're at it. After hitting the subscribe button, make sure that you press that notification bell because otherwise YouTube is um, sometimes a little bit funny when it comes to informing you about the new video releases. So in case YouTube does not miss out on that particular front, ring that notification bell and set it to all. Remember, set it to all. Okay, that's it. Let's get back to the topic that we were discussing and now comes on the somber face. All right, jokes aside, signs of childhood trauma. Now, people who have childhood trauma are more predisposed, are actually predisposed, not more, to developing problems like PTSD, physical health issues, emotional dysregulation in adults. Now, sometimes PTSD cause is never found in adults. Some people, especially those who have physical PTSD, know why it's there know the trigger know the signs and symptoms but when it's emotional PTSD especially rooted in their childhood it's just that one day they might wake up and stop trusting people one day they might wake, wake up and you know realize that they are in a brain they have a brain that does not really belong to them as in suddenly they stop trusting people suddenly they become dismissive suddenly they find it hard to actually believe that people love them for who they are and not because they want something from them. They go to a psychologist, the psychologist inquires, what do you think is bringing on 
all of this and they don't know it because they've always dismissed all of the things that happen in childhood because most people say that it's a part of the growing phase it's a part of you know when you grow up you have to go through all these things some people say your parents did it you know it's okay every parent does that it's just a phase you will get over it you don't to be honest you don't get over things like this it's just not possible you have to address things head on find out where the problem lies and then address the problem even if it lies in childhood now getting on to the symptoms the actual symptoms of childhood trauma how would you figure out that you have suffered childhood trauma previously as i said number one is PTSD. you will be reliving your traumas that can come in the form of vivid nightmares or in your dreams the same situation may get repeated in your dreams if you're having recurring dreams about some person and those dreams are sad or you know you wake up feeling frustrated after that dream but you're seeing one or two or a specific number of people every time in that dream it's a sign that you should probably look back and find out if uh, you know in retrospection if those people had uh, any involvement in any kind of trauma in your life because sometimes our brain shuts down the main factor that caused the trauma it's to protect us it's a brain it's your brain's defense mechanism so the subconscious however knows everything subconscious is aware of all all that happened so subconscious projects past traumas in the form of memories nightmares night terrors sleep paralysis in all of those formats if you're facing these issues it's a sign you need to go to a psychologist figure it all out other signs of PTSD are avoiding people especially if people is the reason the childhood trauma exists which is true in most cases high levels of anxiety increased heart rate panic attacks treat trust issues people find it hard to trust others because they've been hurt by those they loved the most when they were a kid anger problems self-destructive behavior substance abuse all of these are symptoms of PTSD if you're facing PTSD and you're not able to pinpoint a reason try and look into your childhood you might just find out the reason next physical health yes stress does have an effect on physical health in most cases stress is not the reason you know your problem will start but it's definitely the reason your problem may aggravate suppose you okay we have a little moth here <laughs> okay suppose you have um, some physical issues like you have like a mild headache you know because of work your stress can turn that headache into a permanent migraine you see what i'm talking about it will not start the problem but it'll definitely aggravate it stress can do that to you so you have to be very careful if you are facing problems like mm, asthma even though asthma is allergic allergy related like you you need to have a base level of asthma that can go into becoming a copd case if you have issues like you know rooted in childhood there is a high chance of uh, stroke problems coronary artery diseases diabetes and a variety of others i don't want to discuss the plethora of diseases you can have because of your childhood trauma so moving on the third and the most important part or uh, effect of childhood trauma is the emotional dysregulation you suddenly feel angry you suddenly feel sad you suddenly feel like crying you don't know why that's the reason other causes or other symptoms that you can observe if you have childhood trauma is anger problems getting angry for very small things being uh, pretty possessive about uh, objects articles basically what we would call resource guarding in animals humans also do that at times that's called possessiveness of stuff possessiveness about certain people like or you know being a too uh, uh not trusting and constantly thinking that your partner is going to cheat on you go and cheat on you go and cheat on you because the trust is not there then a withdrawal from people because you feel that they're anyways going to leave you one day and you know you will land up being alone always uh, depression anxiety difficulty sleeping insomnia 
difficulty processing emotions when things become tough or if someone wants to have a difficult discussion with you you just want to leave the room and run away instead of talking to that person you don't know why but difficulty discussions make you edgy they make you like oh, i don't want to be in this situation just just get me out of here like that now to diving deep into the emotional science the first one would be irritability you are you get irritated very soon like anything happens it sets you off like you ask the person not to touch the pen that was kept there and the person touched and used it and kept it back and you are not finding this pen at the same place and you're irritated that is one then inability to trust others as i mentioned before you're not able to trust people because either they're going to leave you or they're going to use you for who you are or uh, they are just going to you know behave with you as if you're a tissue paper use you throw you like that difficulty in maintaining relationships because of trust issues because you're constantly suspicious over your partner's behavior because you feel that people will leave you loneliness you feel that you know you are just assigned to be alone which you're not but that's how that's what your brain tells you that you're just trying to be alone you will never find a person who truly understands you for who you are you'll never find someone who will understand the perils you've been through or you know why you think like this i mean you cannot justify to yourself so how can you expect your partner to understand that right those factors then fear of embarrassment you're afraid of going out into the society attending parties even if you work because these are repressed factors so you will uh, behave like a normal functioning individual you will work but you won't get any parties you will try to avoid your colleagues you try to be by yourself even though while maintaining a facade of you know being completely normal but you just don't know why it's happening so even though it is a facade you really don't grow that you don't like chilling with people it's like small talks bother you you prefer to be lonely because you feel that's how you'll end up and you face difficulty in concentrating on even the smallest tasks possible you start a project you don't finish it you start another project you don't finish it so you've got a pile up of projects that you haven't finished if you're facing these signs then you there's a high 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 chance that you're probably facing childhood trauma that has been repressed by your conscious brain to allow you to be a part of society what should you do first thing consult a mental health practitioner if you don't know where to find one you can uh, consult your general practitioner and they will redirect you if they feel there is a need consult a mental health practitioner find out the cause and then maybe you can use cbt like cognitive behavioral therapy or you can use emdr or if there are a plethora of other therapies available as well which can be used to help you deal with the trauma of childhood modify your thinking patterns find out a the logical side of things so that you can actually move forward in life and lead a more healthier existence and stop feeling that you will end up alone in life none of us deserve to be alone but we have to have that faith in ourselves that we will find someone and that someone will understand us i'm not saying put blind trust in others but allow people those who have proven themselves of course not everyone with that it's time for me to leave you guys and i will see you in my next video next week i hope this helped if it did please mention your reviews in the comment section below if you want me to make a new video on specifically something that's bothering you let me know that as well and if you have any queries about mental health you can reach me live on twitch i could do co-working streams there every day if you're facing problems in study if you want study motivation stuff like that you can follow me on twitch i am there pretty much every day except wednesdays and uh, if you want a personal consultation if you want me to look into your problems and help you out then you can figure uh, you can have a consultation with me you will find the details on my website in the sidebar probably because it's still under construction at the moment or yeah you can hit me up on twitch and then we can settle out how to meet and stuff online my consultations are mostly online so you don't even have to leave the house all right that is it and i won't bore you anymore see you guys in my next video bye bye take care and well be happy